What up? We're Bad Seed Rising, and we're coming up next on the Vinnie Langdon Show. What's up, everybody? 2016 Vans Warped Tour. You guys excited? Yes. Yes. Very, very excited. This is like a dream come true for you, right? Yeah, yeah, for sure it is. There you go. Well, for my viewers who don't know about the band, let's go ahead, pass the mic, introduce yourself, and what do you do in the band? Well, I'm Aiden, I play drums. I'm Mason, I play guitar. I'm Francesca, I sing and stuff. Louis and I play bass. Stuff indeed. <laughs> there you go. Now you guys are originally from like the Baltimore, Maryland area, and going across the country. You guys did the Haunted Youth tour not too long ago, so you guys are getting comfortable with the road, right? Yeah, we've, been doing this, we've been doing this for about three years now, you know, touring on and off. So it's been pretty good. Like we're well conditioned, you know. I mean, like Vans Warped Tour is like touring, like but times like a million. Yeah. So it's just, it's just like you have the pressure and like you, you like. No. What pressure? What pressure? There's no pressure. There's a lot of pressure. No one really knows you, you know, especially for us. And then, like, not only that, it's just the heat. Because usually there's venues and there's internet in the venues and there's air conditioning in the venues. But there's nothing here, man. <laughs> nothing here. It's crazy. But you know what's great about the Warp Tour is a lot of times these bands that do have followings, you know, you guys are playing before or you're playing right after them. So Sometimes right when you play on a different stage and they're taking all the people there you go that is right that's for sure and that's what makes it a challenge now when people when bands get to warp tour and they pull in you guys start flying up the place as crazy as you can are you guys let's talk about your style are you chalking it up your record label providing you with posters or you guys handwriting on people's hands huh Oh, we, we got we got the label for help, you know. We got that going on. We got the Roadrunner Street team coming up every morning, taking the posters, plastering up for us nice and pretty. We're too lazy on the bus. <laughs> <laughs> She's sleeping in trying to find a phone charger. Yes, exactly. I mean, I got to sleep. Sleep is the most important thing for a vocalist, to be honest. Like, not even, like, bullshitting or just being, like, a pussy or whatever. Like, sleep, like, vocalists really need, need your sleep. Because, you know, if you don't sleep very well, you wake up, you're just like... Yeah. Okay. Cool. Like you can't sing with that kind of voice. You can't sing with that voice, can you? No, you can't. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah. So the warp tour. You guys are in the bus, huh? No van. Getting lucky. Yeah. yeah well, we, got, we got an RV. Let's let's not get ahead of ourselves. We got an RV. <laughs> you guys got to put a little bit more time in. Uh. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty nice. You know, it expands and all that. So that's that's pretty freaking fancy. I think that's real spacious. Yeah. It's, it's sure. fancier than a bus, to be honest. I mean, when it's driving, like, it's just like, and eh, just stay in your bunk or just lay down or st don't move because it's just kind of cramped and, like, the couches, like, meet together in the middle pretty much. It's really annoying. But when we're parked and with everything is managed, it's like, yeah, this is nice. I can do yoga. I don't do yoga, but. Dude, everyone did, everyone's doing yoga on Warp Tour this summer. That's, <laughs> it's, the, it's the Warp Yoga Tour. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Well, yoga sessions or meditation sessions usually at 8 p.m. or 9 p.m. Um, Led by you, right? You're leading them on? I, I, never, I never know where they are because I don't do that stuff right now. Yeah. Far away from catering, that's for sure. Okay. Well, too far. <laughs> too far. There you go. So you guys are playing a warp Tour. What stage are you guys on? Full sale. Yeah, full sale. Yeah. Got the bright orange logo right behind you guys. Yeah. For sure. It's great. It's usually, usually in between all of the big stages. Sometimes we get pretty f and we uh, end up in some freaking corner and like, you know, no one really on our stage is like that, like huge, like big. I mean, like we got, we got with confidence, they're pretty big, you know, but like no one like as big as like sleeping with, you know, but like, it's just kind of times when we're like in the corner, it's just like no one's gonna come by and watch them. You know, that's not bad because sometimes some of the bands get so lost, they can't even find their stage all day. They're like, wait, where's our stage? And nobody even knows. <laughs> Usually, whenever, whenever I have, like, a friend over, like, you know, that comes over and I, like, guest list them or whatever, like, I have to have them help me figure out where I'm going because I lose where I am. Well, you guys have a new single, I Can Feel You. I Can Feel You. Yeah, did and you to it? I did. I really liked it. And what's great about the Vinnie Langdon show is we get to play the music video a little bit later on. But first, give us a little background. I mean, you you have, she has crazy dreams, doesn't she? Mm -hmm. Oh, you <laughs> Oh, well, hey, <laughs> you're more popular than you think. <laughs> oh, wow. All the Vinny Langdon Show viewers are like, yeah, let's get Bad Seed Rising on the show. I'm like, yeah, well, let's do it. So, uh, yeah, crazy dreams, right? And 
Usually, uh, all my dreams, I wonder who told it, my, my dreams are usually just about, like, um, me dying all the time, so I like to write about them, and, like, whenever I die, like, I wake up, uh, and then I go back to sleep, and I have a chance to relive it again, to, like, survive, but usually, it hap like, it happens three times, and I die every time, so, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> yeah. That's usually how my dreams are. And, like, uh, you know, sometimes it's, like, robots. Sometimes it's Pokemon trying to kill me. It's really weird. I don't really know. I think it's just, like, uh, that That kind of means, like, you know, I'm afraid of, like, the truth trying to get to me, which was pretty much what the dream that kind of, like, I wrote about. Uh, I had a dream April 6th about I Can Feel You, and it's just, like, about a snake pretty much trying to kill me. Like, I was running away from something very familiar, and then, like, I ended up in a field, and a, fa a snake tries to kill me, and I die three times. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> three times. So I wrote about that. I was just like, yeah, it's kind of significant, because, like, you know, I'm running away from something that I don't want to face, and, like, the snake is also something that, you know, it's kind of creeping up on me. And, um... That's just the truth, and that's reality, and like that's, you know, me having to face my fear. I either die from it, which I did, but I either die from it, or I survive and I fight it, or I accept it and be its friend. So that's kind of what the, the dream is about. Yeah. Well, we're gonna play that video right here on the Vinnie Langdon show. When we come back, we're gonna talk to the band a little bit more about the writing process and where you guys can check them out at Warp Tour right after this. That, that music video. Did you have fun making that? Yeah, yes. So that, I was going to say no, but yes. <laughs> He's all like, no, that w I never, guys, I never want to do a music video again. I hate playing the song 50 times. Da, na, 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 na. 100, huh? Wait, did he yeah. actually play it 100 times? Probably. Like, we had to do it a lot, and then, like, we had different, like, setups and stuff, like, in different locations. But that, w that video was so much fun. It was the most legit video we've ever done, like, with a setup and just our director, Patrick. Flaherty, I don't know how to pronounce his last name. Like he was, he was fantastic. I love. He's him. watching anyways. What's up, Patrick? What up, Pat? How you doing? Yeah, but that video turned out so much like better than uh, I thought it would be. And uh, one thing that I really wanted in our video was color. And that color, and like the, the the band shots, the the main colors are like greens and blues and purples. Um, and I wanted it to be colorful because our album is called Awaken Color, coming out soon at the end of summer. And then um, like our, hopefully in our upcoming video, spoilers, there are going to be different colors, you know, in, for specific songs because every song that we wrote, I see a color. Perfect. That's awesome. Now, Louie, playing Warp Tour, and when you guys were playing, getting ready for this album, does Francesco write the lyrics first, or do you guys? go and put some like you know beat together and lay it down well, What's up? it all depends on the actual song to be honest i mean sometimes someone will come in with a riff or a drum beat or a lyrical melody or whatever and then we just build from there so like i mean there were times when we were writing for the record where you know franny came in with like uh you know a clear vision of what she wanted to sing about and that kind of thing and so we went with like the feel of what she was talking no, about no, to write I mean, like, sometimes, like, the one song that we did is called What Have We Done, like, uh, I kind of came in and I was just like, I don't know how to, like, transcribe it onto the guitar, but I want it like this, and I want the drums to be like, dur, dur, you know, yeah. just like, so, yeah. But, like, anyone, like, a lot of times Mason will come in with a riff or something and, and you know, we'll, like, go from there and just kind of build it piece by piece. It, it's not, you know, there's never any real, like, definite way to go about writing a song it just kind of happens but um yeah that's that's kind of how we do it i guess for sure for sure all right well bad seed rising make sure you guys go check them out all summer long on the full cell university stage here at warp tour get here early go to that inflatable tent go check out what time they're playing so you don't miss them and i uh, hope you guys enjoy your summer at warp tour and and oh, oh come say hi to our friend abraham he's a giant alien that i always have around and he's like so nice just take a picture with him and then you can post it and tag abraham and friends on instagram it's great I'm going to have to do that after all these interviews today. Vinny and Abraham. Yeah, for sure. Well, guys, make sure you guys go check them out. And once again, in the end of the summer, their album, once again, what is it? Awaken Color. There you go. Bad Seed Rising on the Vinny Langdon Show. You'll hear from them a lot more all summer long. Check them out on their Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, all over the place. All right. No. We got Instagram. It's lit. So Abraham has a Snapchat. Abraham. <laughs>
Yeah. Everyone has his own Instagram. He's about to get a freaking verified. He needs a check. <laughs> Crazy. Well, guys, nice meeting you. Good luck. And uh, we'll see you guys at the Warped Tour. Yo, we're Bad Seed Rising. Thanks so much for watching the Vinnie Langdon Show.